Guys, this gym is insane. So you've seen the inside, you get outside, you've got a full rig, loads of kettlebells, you've got yokes, you've got atlas stones, you've got all sorts, and you've got an assault course right on the docks, all the way over there. This place is mega, absolutely mega. This is CrossFit Renegade. You've seen it before. It's just so nice here. And today is our last day in Faro. So to celebrate leaving, <laughs> we're doing a 100 kilometer bike erg. So got the bike set up over there. And yeah, we're gonna bike for 100 kilometers. We did 50K, I did 56K two days ago. And then another two days before that, we did another, I did another 55. And then we did like a 20k or something in between that. So basically, in less than a uh, less than a week, I'll have done 220k at least, 230 nearly, um, just on the bike erg, which is pretty cool. But it's one of those things that it's, I don't know. I feel like I can justify it here because the weather is so nice. The sun is just around this corner, so we've got the first bit of the bike in the shade, and then maybe in a few hours the sun's going to come around and it's going to be beautifully sunny. Um, and we're gonna get a tan. This bike's gonna take between four and five hours, not going too crazy. I went pretty fast on the other two bikes that I've done, the long ones, so this one's more chilled. But yeah, I'm looking forward to it in a weird way. I don't really like endurance stuff, but I know I need to do more, so this is like a perfect opportunity for me to actually build a bit of an engine. Can't see it, but we've got Matt Fraser on. Nearly 40 minutes through. Uh, yeah, so it's gonna be about four hours, but as I said about the sun, it is just around that corner. There it is. So it's going to get hot pretty soon. But yeah, so far, so good. Um, the main thing for me, two things, probably my knee gets a little bit sore, but also just sitting down on this chair. Um, the seat really gets me. So, so far, so good. But as I said, I'm only, well, I'm not even a fifth of the way through. So I've got a long way to go. So there we go, just over two hours done. Feeling good. It's quite fun actually, apart from my bum. Yeah guys, I won't lie, my sort of bottom area feels tasty. I don't know how cyclists do it, like Tour de France and stuff. Fair play. I've done two hours, well, two hours today, but I've done quite a bit in general this week, but yeah, two hours today and it hurts. <laughs> Oh yeah, there we go. Reset. Done. Oh, my knee. Dear. My knee kind of hurts. Um, just feels like I can't put weight on it right now, but I think it's because I've been sat on a bike for three hours and 40 minutes, but that was fun. Enjoyed it. Can't feel my bottom either, but that was good. So nice to do it here with like a, a view like that. It's just awesome, absolutely awesome. So that's the mess that we made during the bike. <laughs> it's really cool, we've got umbrellas and everything all looking after us, keeping us nice and shaded because it's hot out here today, really hot. This is, um, this is the effect of a 100k bike in three hours. <laughs> I didn't just film you. <laughs> yep, if I can get on it. Does that have a weight limit? Okay, we're all good. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. That feels so nice. Yeah, it like swings and everything. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, the bike was fun. I started off too slow as I always do. Um, don't know what it is about endurance stuff. I, I just, I, I start off too slow because I don't, I'm swinging around by the way. I start off too slow because I always think that it's going to be harder than it is for me and I don't know how long I can sort of hold on for in certain thresholds. Um, so I started off way too slow. I think I was doing like, on the bike I was holding 
don't know, 220, 222 pace, I think, per kilometer. Um, so my first, let me think. Yeah, I did 12 and a half K, just over 12 and a half K in the first half hour. And then the first hour I did 20, nearly 26. So basically, at that speed, it was going to take me four hours um, at the speed I was going at with my little brakes. But I just got faster towards the end because I started to enjoy it, started to get fed up and want it to finish. And I know that the end's in sight so I can go a little bit faster, but it was really fun. Um, so this week, or in the last five days really, I've done about 220k maybe on the bike. And I feel really good for it. Really, really good for it. I don't feel like I'm like losing muscle mass or anything. I've been eating a lot. Probably some bad foods. Definitely some bad foods, but it's been pretty fun. Um, Fitness-wise, I feel great. I'm just missing a bit of like, you know, like the lungy, lungy feeling, like intervals and stuff. So I'll be doing more of that again next week, I'm sure. But yeah, that was awesome fun. CrossFit Renegade in Faro has been amazing. The facilities are so, so good here. Staff are friendly, the members are friendly, really good people here. So I wanna thank them again for having me because I've had the best time ever and I want to come back and I think I will be coming back. And this is how you finish after doing 100K on the bike. But yeah, my time wasn't very, like nothing impressive. Um, I wasn't going for anything impressive, I just got a bit faster towards the end. It took me <coughs> 3 hours and 40 minutes. I wanted to go like under that, but I left it too late to go faster. It was really, really fun. Watched a Matt Fraser movie documentary and then just stuck some music on and sort of got into the zone a bit more actually, which was really cool. Um, but I've loved it here. So the last day in Faro is ticked off. Now go to Lisbon which I'm really excited for I've heard good things about Lisbon it's really big sorry if the swinging is putting you off I'll try to stop um, <laughs> I can't stop swinging it's, it's great look how high these ropes are guys Whoa. look how much equipment these guys have got. Oh my God. Yeah. Every good gym has a good gym dog. Oh wow, it's a bit showing a lot, showing a lot off there. The dog's name is Burpee. What a great name for a dog. I make a vlog and I'll put, put you in it. Me in it, no, I'm done though. <laughs> they want to see the man behind the gym. It's, uh, <laughs> it's not important to the man. <laughs> the gym's important. The gym is important. <laughs> Here's going to be the bungalows. This is going to be the OCR course. Oh my God. And if you see it, so it's two big boxes. So yeah. This one is as big as this one. And then the yeah. other one is like 32 meters. So. It's more like 65 in total. Mm. And just like that, I am back in England. So, I was in Portugal for two weeks. You guys saw the amazing, amazing CrossFit Renegade gym in Faro. Hell of a gym, like so big, so much equipment. Love training there. So I was in Faro for the first week whilst I was in Portugal. And we trained like every day. Uh, sometimes twice a day, which was really, really fun. The 100K bike ride was really good. Um, just fancy doing it because we were in the sun, so it was a, like an easy way to sunbathe, you know? One second. And from there, we went to Lisbon. So, Lisbon was beautiful, very different sort of lifestyle, I guess, to Faro. Faro was quite slow. Uh, Lisbon's more of like a busy place. Not as busy as it should be, obviously, with coronavirus and whatnot. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, more, more busy, more like pretty places. Um, Faro was just sort of quaint, I guess you could say. And then, yeah, we found an amazing gym in Lisbon as well, which I couldn't show you guys because I didn't do any video in for the last week. Um, that was called CrossFit XXI. Really cool gym, really nice people. 
and it's in the bottom of a swimming pool, so obviously there's no water in it. So yeah, to get onto the gym floor, you have to climb down the ladders, which is really, really weird. But yeah, I thought I'd just do a little vlog for you guys whilst I was away. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, you get to see, you know, a bit of training, a bit of fun. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I've got my next video that I'm actually editing as well right now, so look forward to that. But yeah, if you enjoyed it, please give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already because it actually makes a difference and I will see you in the next one. I'm really glad to be home as well. I don't know, home comforts, you know, can't beat it. I'm going to be spending basically two weeks indoors and I'm just going to be smashing my training so look forward to some cool training content coming up as well.